So yesterday we were at the dollar store, actually five and below, and we're looking for some inexpensive Bluetooth speakers. So came across, they have a section in the back called the above or something, and it's like $10 or, or more, their items. So I found this set of Emerson speakers. And I remember Emerson back in the 80s, they used to make VCRs and cheap and expensive electronics, and you used to find them at Kmart, Circuit City, and all those places back in the 80s. And I had not seen this brand in a long time, and it seemed kind of hefty. So it had some weight to it, which is usually a very good indicator that it sounds better when it has some weight behind it. So it's a rechargeable wireless speaker and looked kind of rugged so we can use it in the garage and the workshop or that type of thing. So we're gonna pair it up with, with our iPhone and, and see how it sounds. So uh, let's see what's in the box. Okay, so USB charging port, charging cable. Okay, and I can see inside, but it's packed kind of nicely. So let's pull this out. By the way, this is the model number EBT3004BK. I looked for it online and I found it on eBay, but I'm not really finding any information on this as far as, because as far as I know, this is the only review of this that exists. So I'll take off the... It's cute! So it has this nice handle here. In the back it has... On this we have an auxiliary input. So you, you don't have to use Bluetooth, which was a bonus feature. You have a USB charging port. And you have the on-off switch. And it looks like the USB is, is indeed a, a micro. It does appear to have a charge on it, which it's already charged. So I'm not gonna read the manual. I'm gonna play this by ear. I'm gonna try to pair this with my phone. And let's see, let me go to my Bluetooth settings. And let's see, oh, there it is. It shows up as EBT 3004. It's just connected. That was super easy, super, super easy. So now I'm gonna play one of my favorite songs. It's from the soundtrack, uh, Lilo and Stitch, the Hawaiian song, Hey, Hey Melo Ni Lilo. But it has a lot of bass in it. It's like one of the songs to really test the bass and sound. So we are going to try and see how this sounds in this. So here we go. My opinion on this is that the base is a little bit muddy. Um, but for ten dollars, it's not bad. It's can we, can we try bad. something else? Absolutely. Can you go to Apple Music and play a song called Aloha by Mome? Okay. So it's not bad. I mean it's ten dollars. Um, yes. And I mean if you use this in a rough environment, I think it's great. Curious to how long the batteries say they last. Um, it did come charged. Um, we'll see what it says on the manual. I cannot read anywhere where it gives any indication. A power bank will work. It's a standard USB on one side, so you need phone charger, USB charger. Uh, any of those things will work. Well, there's nothing in the manual to indicate how long it lasts. We don't know. I guess we'll find out by using it. We'll do a full charge and we'll let you know. Charge yourself completely and we'll run it non-stop and we'll see how long it lasts. I have a very large music library so that will not be a problem. Hello, I'm Talk Girl Sydney and it's now the next day which also happens to be St. Patrick's Day, hence the green, part Irish. 
I'm having fun. So anyway, um, got a chance to use the speaker last night and was really impressed with the battery life. We got four hours and 50 minutes uh, play time with this. And this was with mixed volume, high and low. Now, obviously, if you run it full blast, you probably get four hours out of it. But I was really impressed with the amount of time uh, got on a single charge. One other thing about this is that when the battery is completely dead, if you plug it in to use it, you have to let it charge for about five minutes, but you can charge and use it at the same time. It seems to be charging about two hours, so two hours charge time, four hours playback time, maybe a little longer depending on your volume, and I'm really impressed with it. So, for the price of $10, which is about three Cafe Americanos from Starbucks, you get wonderful sound, not stereo, but good sound, four hours of playtime, two hours charge, can be used while plugged in, and you can't go wrong for $10. I call it a win.